breaking news today as UF lands a massive commitment. Guys, this is huge from defensive lineman LJ McCray. We're going to show you some of his highlights, and then we're going to get right into this commit. Okay, you guys know who LJ McCray is. He is a five-star defensive lineman in the 2024 class from Mainland High School in Daytona Beach. Six foot six, 275 pounds. Guys, you know this was at the very top of UF's wish list. LJ is somebody that UF has been on for a very long time. We've watched his rankings continue to skyrocket. He is currently a top 10 player in the country, according to On3 industry rankings and 247's rankings as well. According to On3, number eight in the country. 247, number six. He is a five-star on both sites. This pickup is absolutely huge for the Gators, literally massive. Let's talk a little bit about LJ as an athlete. First thing that jumps off the page, 6'6", 275 pounds is nuts. He has a huge frame. This guy kind of reminds me a little bit of like, I don't know, maybe a Derek Harvey. Next up, pure strength. Obviously, with a frame like that, you would expect that he's going to be strong, but he is an absolute monster. He watches highlights. Look at him. Look at him come from the inside. You're watching this right now. He is very long. He has a 6'9 wingspan, and he moves really, really well. Guys, he has been clocked under five seconds of 40-yard dash. 6'6 defensive tackle. That is excellent. He also played a lot of DN in high school, so he really can truly move all around the defensive line due to his size, but then also his speed. Really versatile player, somebody that UF could really use immediately. He is a really, really quick first step, does a great job of getting around offensive linemen. That means he can help produce sacks. When he goes up head to head, though, he has the strength and the moves to completely dominate the offensive lineman in front of him. You know what words are used routinely to describe his play? Violent and aggressive. Okay, love that in the trenches. It is something that UF really loves about the way that he plays. It's something that can be beneficial immediately. And there's something interesting about his commitment. A lot of people are missing it, and I really want to focus on that. But just before we do it, I want to remind you, you need to be subscribed to this channel. Hit the subscribe button right now. We're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the Florida State game. If you like this content, hit that button. All right. Huge shout out to his primary recruiter, Mike Peterson. The defense at UF has always been a staple. We've talked about this. It had to improve this year, and it has. Look what Austin Armstrong has been able to do. This defense is incredibly young. We did a video last week where we talked about the fact that Florida has 11 true freshmen that have played in all six games, which is the most of any team in the country. Well, nine out of those 11 are on defense. That means they were able to sell McCray on getting on the field early and getting developed. And, you know, this defense is getting better. We talk about progress not being linear. It's not. They have good games and bad games, but they're young, they're hungry, and they are getting better every single day. UF has recruited incredibly well in the 2024 cycle as well. So just imagine what is going to happen with that defense this offseason. The guys in this recruiting class, we have the top safety in Xavier Filsamy. We have Miles Graham. So many big names committed to UF. And now the Gators have a commit on the defensive line that is a true stud. They are building an incredibly solid core for this defense for years to come. And I think the most important part about this commitment and the thing that we really should be focused on is that this is a massive win over both Georgia and Florida State. All week long, we heard from Steve Wilfong and essentially everybody else that Florida was dead to rights. McCrane wasn't coming to UF. We even heard UF was a distant third to both Florida State and Georgia. And look where we are. 
Florida won the recruitment battle for McRae. That tells me a couple different things. One, that people are able to see what Napier is doing. They're watching these solid building blocks. They're watching the improvement week after week. They're watching the adjustments. The other thing it tells me is that UF's NIL game has really improved over the last couple of seasons. They know what they're doing. They figured it out. They are trending in the right direction as well. Look at this recruiting class. If you don't think NIL had a hand in that, we need to talk. This was a huge battle with our biggest rivals and Florida won. That is so important. It's not only important that McCray is going to be on our roster next season, but it's also important that he's not going to be on Florida State's and he's not going to be on Georgia's. This is a guy who can make an impact in college football immediately. This is a guy that's going to play in the NFL. And the fact that he's going to wear the UF logo on the front instead of Florida State or Georgia is such a huge win for Billy Napier. We talked all summer about recruiting battles and how, you know, Napier's first year, it was important to have a hat at the table. And if you didn't get picked, it was okay because you were at least in the discussion with these current top programs. Now, Billy Napier is winning those battles. That was the next step that had to be taken. And here we are, we've taken it. You know, the Gators have real momentum, both on the recruiting trail and on the field. That victory last week against South Carolina was huge. There were definitely points in time this season where people were wondering, you know, will UF's recruiting class stay together? Will these guys stay committed to the program? What happens if Florida loses to South Carolina? Or what happens in some of these other games? And I'll tell you who is not concerned about it. LJ McCray. I think that he sees the building blocks that Billy Napier has put in place. He saw the fight in the team against South Carolina. He knows the direction the program is headed in. And I think that those are such important pieces to this recruiting class puzzle. Florida's not losing recruits in this class. They're adding to it. And they're doing it at the expense of rivals. Florida plays Georgia one week from today. That's a rivalry game. That's a battle. We're all concerned because we're playing the number one team in the country. But you know what we just did? We just won this battle right here. This was a head-to-head with the Georgia Bulldogs, the two-time reigning national champs. And Billy Napier said, not today. Today he's going to be a Gator. And this just builds so well for the future. Napier is building this thing slowly, steadily. He's plucking the recruits he wants. He's getting the guys that he thinks are the correct piece of the puzzle to win down the road. Now, will the Gators win on Saturday against Georgia? I don't know. We're going to talk about that in the in the coming days. But right now, I think we should celebrate a win against the Georgia Bulldogs because that's exactly what happened here today. What are your thoughts on the Gators landing a top 10 athlete today? What do you think about McCray and how he's going to fit into this defense when the time comes? Let's chat about it down in the comments. Like I told you earlier in the video, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any updates like this one. We've been hearing that UF isn't done yet, so stay tuned to the channel. You never know when another one's going to pop. Thank you so much for watching, and if you made it to the end of this video and you want more content just like it, YouTube thinks that you would enjoy this one.